Today we'll be looking at adding a water block to my 670. Purchase the EK copper block with the clear cover so you can see the liquid inside. Hold on while I put my anti-static strap on, which is tied to my case, which is currently grounded. All right, so here's the block. I already have some fittings on it, but these are gonna be changed to swivel fittings. Those haven't come in yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and install a block anyway, and install the fittings after that. So I already uh, flushed it, if that was necessary. It's already been done. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the manual says, here we have the manual. Okay, remove the stock cooler, remove the bracket. So here's my 670 and an anti-static bag. And it looks like there's only one screw, one screw there, but I don't even know if that's one I should be removing. It's pretty small. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't hurt to try removing it. Now I'm going to save these screws in a little baggie. These have screws in it, but I mean, it's pretty obvious one's copper and belongs to something else. So that goes in there. All right, so that one screw is removed. Let's go ahead and start removing these 10 screws all around the chassis. So starting from the top right, let's go from top down. All right, so these are different length. I need to make sure to keep these in order. So, let's, how about that? Let's put it like that. So top right. I'm assuming we're gonna go around to this one. Let's do the GPU heat sink or these four last. So it looks like the longest one is only in that corner, so we should be fine. Hmm. All right, so I'm assuming that takes off the shroud. Those two are connected somehow. Let's go ahead and remove the four remaining screws. Here, 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 here. And there you have it. Look at that thermal paste. You sure put a lot on there. Remove the fan. Okay, so that's completely off. Doesn't look like there's any warranty sticker on it, so theoretically I could put this back together if something else goes wrong with it. Don't worry, I won't rearm it if I fry it with water. But um, for those who have the same graphics card, Galaxy 670, no. Uh, no, no uh, sticker to void. All right. So now we're gonna have to clean the GPU, which is this right here, from all that uh, that gook. All right. So here we're gonna go ahead and apply the thermal pads. All right. So it's at least covered on both sides. Let's make it at least thinner because we know it's too thick already. So 
right about here. I'm just eyeballing it. You can always cut it. Always cut it too large, or uh, so it's too large, and then just trim it down afterwards. So that that little messy line right there is kind of like the outline outline of where I want to cut. So. a little bit more and actually let's not apply it yet let's cut the uh, the ram ones first before we start applying actual pads to it Actually, use this as a measurement now. One, two, three, four. So we have one, three more. Backside. The protective layer, or the uh, there's still one more layer side you have to remove before uh, you put on the heat sink. So let's hope I don't forget that. Okay, let's move on to the VRMs. And there you have it. Testing it on the side here, just in case it's not a not very good. Alright, that didn't turn out too wet, but it's the only piece I have that isn't very conductive, so I guess we'll have to live with it. I'm sure it's better than stock anyway. Oh, whoops, we're on GPU core first. All right.
probably be doing crisscross pattern. There you have it.